Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I thought I would come back with another video. I don't really know what to film. Back in the day, I used to make like funny, stupid, pointless videos, and now these are kind of like that, but makeup related, which I said I would never do, but here I am trying to salvage the beauty community with actual beauty products instead of drama. Is that shady? shouldn't be. It's just the nature of it all. So anyway, um, I'm really excited because I have been trying to make the switch to clean beauty products. I started with um, more skincare and body care stuff, getting rid of everything that had parabens and sulfates, any toxic stuff for your body. I just switched over to staying really clean in terms of what I wash my hair with, what I wash my body with, my face. But I haven't made the change yet to clean makeup. I do have some clean makeup products, but not all my makeup products are clean. But I saw on Sephora this clean makeup kit. It looks like this. I think it was about $30, so I decided to give it a shot and I wanted to try it out on camera. And we're just going to see how clean beauty makeup products perform. Let's get started. So I actually already washed my face and everything. Um, the only thing I didn't apply was moisturizer, so I'm going to go ahead and prep it with the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I'm going to quickly put on sunscreen and I'll be right back. I also have these little, um, I also have these little eye ice packs, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on my eyes because my under eye circles get so dark because of my allergies. So I'm just going to leave them on for like 30 seconds. I don't even think this works, but it's placebo and I'm into it. This actually didn't come with the kit, but I really wanted to try it on camera because I've never tried it before. It's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This stuff is Totemoktakai, which in Nihongo, Japanese, means very expensive. But we're just gonna see how this works as a sample. I think Tatcha products are known to be clean and start just... Whoa! This feels like luxury, like putting, I hate expensive products because they feel so nice on your skin. They feel so nice on your skin, yet you will lose an arm and a limb trying to buy, afford these products. So that's a lot of fun. I'm just putting this all over my sweaty face because it's so hot and I don't have air conditioning. I realize it's like a lot of typical growing up in San Diego type of deal like a lot of my friends don't have air conditioning in their houses and why spend the money on air conditioning when you can suck it up and not have to use it so I like going to people's houses who do have air conditioning that's great okay so this stuff my review on the Tatcha primer is we will see how it performs with foundation but it feels amazing and makes me really bummed that this isn't just like two dollars from e.l.f. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating my skin off right now. So I do want to talk about what comes in this clean makeup kit because it doesn't have every single beauty product you need to beat your face. Um, AK doesn't have concealer, but it does have foundation, it has loose setting powder, it has liquid highlighter, two lipsticks, a radiant priming serum, which I probably should have used before I used Tatcha and mascara so maybe I should take out this radiant proof like let's just put it over let's just put this over Tatcha because it's already too late I think it has sealed um, this stuff is from Ilia I'll leave it all down in the description um, it says, says shake before use so that's fun I'm pretty sure this is just primer like but I already wanted to use the Tatcha stuff so badly so this stuff actually looks pretty cool it comes out like that and it's pretty wet <laughs> so I'm just putting it over this Tatcha stuff it probably should have gone the other way around but life does not work that way so that actually smells really good and feels really nice I do have to let this dry into my skin so maybe I'll just slap it ah, it is so hot in San Diego Ooh love that hot and humid we don't really get 
a lot of humidity in San Diego. We kind of do because we're close to the ocean, but it's been extra humid here for the past two weeks and I cannot handle it. I am done. I think a lot of people live in Southern California just for the pure fact that we don't have to deal with a lot of bad weather like humidity and um, right now it's not working out. Here are the foundation shades for the clean makeup kit. It's very evident that they are not inclusive of all different skin types because they only give you three shades that all are pretty fair. And if you look on the back, it shows all the other shades as well. You can tell that this is not that dark. There are much more people with darker skin complexions than just this shade. So that's a little disheartening that this, yes, great, it's a clean beauty makeup product, but it only is more tailored to fair skin Caucasian people. Um, I like this more as a fan than as a foundation. That's a huge bummer about this. I would just have to knock off a couple points on, on this just because of the shade range and the fact that like you could have at least made this shade a shade for darker skin colored women versus, or men and women versus um, only tan, like olive kind of people. That's just a bummer. So this really singles out a lot of people. Like you're not able to buy this and I am ashamed because I didn't really notice it when I first bought it. I just saw like the highlighter and the lipsticks and I was like, oh this sounds great, it's all clean makeup and I didn't realize that it only um, tailors to certain skin tones. So that's a huge bummer that um, makes me sad. I don't know what else to say besides sorry and they need to do something about that especially this medium to dark. It literally says medium to dark with red golden undertones. Like, there's a problem that the darkest shade says medium. So I'm already like bummed out to try this. Like I was excited, now I'm not. It just says True Skin. This is from the brand Ilia. It says True Skin is a complexion perfecting serum infused foundation that equal parts skincare and color correction weightlessly delivers buildable medium coverage with a silky smooth finish while nourishing the skin with a powerful blend of botanical actives for skin that naturally glows. Aloe leaf, rose hip, Jojoba, do I say that right? Jojoba, ho ho ba. I'm gonna have to go with the lightest shade. In person, I look a little tanner. I think I'm just gonna swatch test and just see what works. First, I'm gonna cut this. Um, again, like I said, very disappointed. Very, very, very disappointed with the coloring. Um, they really messed up. I don't know how you could possibly mess that up, but you did. Um, uh, well, let's go for the lightest shade just for fun and just see what we're working with because you never know if the lighter shade's going to look better. But I think, see, I just ruined my nail. That's really cool. So I'm just going to blend this all in at this point and we will, we will catch up. Um, I hate the smell. It almost smells like clay. Like, I'm about to work on ceramics. It's almost like the type of makeup that you want to wear just to improve your skin. Not to really improve, or I mean, make it look like you're wearing foundation, if that makes sense. So I guess that's what all clean beauty is about. Maybe I should try Glossier. Isn't Glossier clean beauty? Or is it just, like, cool looking? I don't know if you can really tell the texture of my skin right now. It's kind of flaky, and it might be because I put on two primers. I'm so sorry for this shade range, and I'm so sorry for the mess of this video. I feel like I wasted $30 um, on this, so that's what you get when you let your heart win. I'm actually, the only thing I'm going to do is just like use this as concealer because I'm used to covering up dark circles. I also don't wear makeup every day. In fact, I only wear makeup probably once a week, so I really don't have like that strong sense of urgency to buy concealer, which is why I end up looking like this. Thank God that camera's not the real life, otherwise you would really see the flaws in this foundation. Um, do I think it's a nice lightweight foundation? Yes. Do I think that it would work for some people? Of course. It's clean beauty, I really appreciate that. Um, do I not appreciate the shade range? Absolutely. Um, I don't think I'm going to ever support this brand until they kind of extend their shade range. It's just kind of disappointing. I feel like there's other beauty products that, clean beauty products that have better shade ranges than that. That was just kind of 
um, a mess. I'm sweating from head to toe. It's disgusting. Ooh, I'm so disappointed. Okay, so, woo. The next product I'm gonna try with this is the setting powder. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm very particular about the setting powder that I use. This is the brand Lawless. I use, whoa, I just got this everywhere. I like to use the Urban Decay setting powder velvetizer because it just is flawless. Okay, so let's just test this out. Um, first of all, okay. Okay, I do not want to put this on my skin. It's very white, you can't really tell, but it's very white, so it's gonna give major flashback when you take pictures. Am I gonna take pictures of my face? Definitely not. Um, it feels chalky, and almost like it has chunks in it. That's really gross. It's like rough. It feels almost like fine sand that, from like Hawaii. I feel like this is gonna suck, but I'm testing these out, so I have to just go for it, and my skin's gonna look like crap. So this powder unfortunately sucks. It hasn't set my makeup at all. My makeup still feels really dewy, which is fine. I like the dewy look, maybe because I'm sweating cats and dogs. That makes no sense. I would rate this setting powder a 0 out of 10. I would not even give it a star if I had to. Ooh, now I'm using this as a fan. I can't. I think I'm going to do the mascara next. This is from the same stupid brand, which I wish they would just give me something else. It's this tiny little mascara. Oh. That's interesting. Okay, so I don't know if you will be able to tell. But there's two different sides to this brush. You have more of the rounded, normal mascara brush that you would usually see. Um, it's not like the brush material. It's like plastic. That soft plastic. I don't know what you call it. Um, and then they just have this like line. Let me see if I can zoom in. So this top part is just like one kind of stripe. I really don't know what's the point. And then there's like rounded on the other side. What I think I'm supposed to do is just normally coat my eyelashes and then use the straight side for declumping. I'm gonna go get my eyelash curler because I need something to save this video. Now I do have to say what I do like about this mascara is that the brush is fairly small. I have tiny eyelashes so when they're small brushes I'm a huge fan of it because I would normally hit my face with big brushes. Does that make sense? Um, I don't hate this mascara. I think it does the job lifting up and kind of giving me more eyelashes. Um, I actually don't care about having big fluffy eyelashes like I used to. Look at the this side versus this side. I think it's pretty. Like, I mean, it's not anything special. I do think the brush is pretty interesting, but other than that, it's not like I would um, run to buy this product if it was on the shelves. Why I haven't tried Clean Beauty for such a long time is because it's just known to not be that good. But now that they have other brands like Jessica Alba's brand, I think Michelle Fawn has some Clean Beauty products, I'm not sure. Um, like I know that there's a lot of like Juice Beauty, like they're coming out with like better products. I just happened to get Sephora's favorites, which I don't know who's working at Sephora and who decided that this would be the best, these would be the best products to show off. It seriously looks like it's about to rain, and that just doesn't happen in San Diego. But it's so hot outside. I hate that kind of weather. Just like, make up your mind, God. Please make up your mind. So now in this really fun, adventurous makeup experience, um, actually we're going to try the product I've been wanting to try the most, which is this Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. So you can mix this in with foundation. You guys have seen me do that with my last Accutane routine video. I really like liquid highlighters because I feel like you can do a lot with them that you can't do with normal highlighters. I just feel like they make your skin look really luminous and flawless. Let's go ahead and blend that and just see. Ooh, I like this. This is basically what I paid $30 for. Let's go ahead and put it on my face. I'm just gonna take a drop, like I put on, and just put it everywhere basically on my face to try to salvage what I did earlier. Um, if you're not into liquid hi highlighting drops, you should because 
it gives off a natural glow, like natural enough where it's not just like stark highlighter right here. I'm just so not into that look anymore. I did go through a bad phase. We're not going to talk about that phase because those were some dark times for me struggling to learn how to do makeup and I was like 20 so pretty sad for me. Now there's like 13 year olds who can put on the most flawless face and look like they're 25 which is kind of startling. That's a tangent. I digress. I'm gonna just blend this in. With, I'm gonna have to blend this out with my fingers. Makes it look better. I already love this because I love that it has a little, it's a little golden champagne-y, kind of like champagne pop with Becca Cosmetics. So it's not super white. It's really good for summer. I'm already trying to sell you this product. <laughs> it's really good for summer. It's just kind of a natural shine. Like it's already making my face look eons better than what it did when I already put on that foundation and that setting powder. I cannot believe I put that setting powder on my face. I'm just really upset with that setting powder. I'm like the worst at setting up the camera, but I'll promise I'll get better. You can tell the shine is like glowy but beautiful and kind of looks natural and that's how I prefer highlighter to look like. It is pretty. I like it. I really like this stuff. I think it's really pretty on the skin. I would recommend it. I still love my Cover FX drops, but if I'm in the market for a new highlighter, I think I'm going to pick this one up. Cover FX is clean too, so um, it's just basically battle of the highlighters for me. Do you want to say hi? Hi! Stop it. This is my dog Donner. It's not in focus, I'm sorry. But he's, his name is Donner like the reindeer. Look at that cute face. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Mama's just doing a video. A really pointless video. Thank you to everyone watching. He's like, what? Do you need to go outside? Huh? Now I need to wash my hands because of that. I'm going to wash my hands, and then I'll be back with finishing up. I think the last thing is lipstick. Okay, are we ready to finish this up? We're gonna go ahead and do the last step, which is lipstick. They actually, weirdly enough, gave us two lipsticks as if, like, they could have just given us concealer or a different product. This one is by RMS Beauty. The shade is Temptation. Let's go ahead and swatch this. So that's Temptation. I think that's what it's called. Temptation, it's honestly just like a nice, like a nice pinky plum look. This one's by Bite. I do like Bite lipsticks. I think they're a little dry, but I like them. Um, this, this is the lipstick shade Cashew, and it honestly just looks like a nice brown color. It might be a little too dark for me, but I think it's really pretty. So just for the fun of it, I think we're going to try two different lip shades and see which one we like more. I'm going to put on lip liner because it's always easier to fill in your lips. And so yeah, these are the lip shades that you will get. Um, I hope that they're universal and work for everybody, but I'm thinking not. This one is a matte lip liner in the lip shade Canes. Cans. Cans is how you say it, I think. I'm going to line my lips right now. I just realized this is probably not clean beauty. Um, so I made a mistake there. But we're just gonna go with it because now I'm like getting over this whole clean beauty thing. I wanted to be a clean beauty girl so badly. And here I am, hating every single product. <laughs> we're actually gonna start with the darker color first just to get that out of the way because I do have a feeling this is not gonna look good on me. Let's go ahead and try it. Honestly, better than I expected. I'm gonna grab some toilet paper to dab my lips. I'll be right back. Honestly, it. I think it would be pretty for winter time. Like, I kind of like it. It's a little dark. What do we think? You guys like this color? Let's top this. I'm actually, you know, I knew Bite products were good, so I wasn't too, like, reluctant to try. I actually like it. Do I think it matches with my dress? Probably not. Because this is my dress. Let's see if I can, like, do this. This is my dress. 
these are the lips. Um, I don't think it really goes. I don't think it's summery enough. But I think it's pretty. So let's wipe this off and go to the next color. Time for the next. This is the shade Temptation by RMS Beauty. Let's go. Okay, this one's pretty. I like it. The best products out of this makeup kit are the um, illuminating highlighter drops and the lipsticks. Um, I would have to try the primer again, but those are the best products. The mascara wasn't anything special. I would rather just buy drugstore, even though it's not clean. To be honest, I'm an imposter. The powder was an absolute fat disappointment. As long as, as well as the foundation that only had three different shades that did not include darker skin colors, so that was a bummer. Um, as for this lips lipstick, I really like it. I think it's pretty. I think it's a nice pink. I think it's more universal. Like you could wear it spring, summer, and winter and fall. Because it's like still a plum pink, but also is light enough for summer. So that's fun. That was a really fun experimental video for me. As much as I dread all the other products, I was able to try to out clean beauty products. Um, it would require some setting spray. I haven't found like anything clean besides the Caudalie like grape water stuff. That completes my clean beauty tryout by Sephora Favorites. You guys know my thoughts and opinions. I am glad I tried this, but also not glad. The only reason I'm super stoked about it is for the illuminating highlighter drops. And that's basically pretty much it. I think this is a cute box to take on the glow. Go, glow. I think this is a cute box to take on the go if you're trying to just like do light makeup anywhere when you go out or do touch-ups. Like I would definitely throw the mascara in my bag, maybe a lipstick because it's so compact. And the moisturizing drops. I think it's a good idea. I also think my dog wants in, so let me go get him. I haven't been a lipstick person in a really long time just because I was on Accutane and lipstick was too drying for me to wear. So it's kind of been fun to wear it again. I would honestly go over it with a gloss. So we're going to see how this Chanel gloss looks over it. This color or this shade is 774. It's the Rouge Coco Gloss. It's just basically a gold. That looks Bang in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video as bad as it was. I really hope that it inspired you guys to try out your own clean beauty products as I am as well. I feel pretty clean on my face. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations of any clean beauty products. I am looking for concealer. I don't really use foundation but I'll use concealer. I also need bronzer and blush. Basically every makeup product, so. If you have any recommendations, just please leave it down below. I would honestly love to have a full face of clean beauty products that actually work and are better for you, so that would be great. My upper lip is sweating. I gotta go before I just turn into a wreck. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. What was this? Like, reading rainbow. Um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Say hi. Come say hi. I don't have friends. Okay. Bye.